Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Saki here, and welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. And we are still in Portland, Oregon, here at the Walmart Neighborhood Market. Our job today is a quick one, but an important one nonetheless. We are going to head out on Highway 84, head up the 30, and get to Astoria here in the coast, uh, right up in the corner. Uh, where Oregon meets Washington. A quick journey today, but unfortunately real world stuff has kept me from recording a lot of episodes and I wanted to get this out to you on time. So a quick jaunt up the north side of Oregon should be fine for today. Oh yeah, what are we, what are we even hauling here? We are hauling, there we go, grain from Walmart. I guess Walmart deals in a lot of stuff and we're going from Portland to Astoria in six hours and making five grand on the drive. So not the most profitable thing we can do, but a quick one we can do nonetheless. So without further ado, let's get rolling here. We'll be sure to clear the yard and this is a big boy that we are hauling behind us here. So we wanna make absolutely sure that we're good to come out. Trailer looks to be fine. Y'all gonna have to wait your turn, good sir, as Big Rig is coming out. Lisa is coming through, make way. All right, got out of the yard cleanly. Very, very nice. I don't see a stop sign here, but a solid light white line nonetheless. And it looks like these guys over here are gonna be hauling the mail, but looks like we're free and clear, so let's hammer down and get to Astoria, shall we? Looks like we're actually taking this exit here and getting back up on the highway. Luckily, it's a yield sign, so as long as nothing is coming from our left, we will be good to go. And no one is indeed coming from our left. All right, let's get up to speed here. Kinda looks like we'll be merging on the left-hand side. Oh, hello, Ossifer. Okay, if there was a light there, I didn't see it. That is a dangerous intersection. We sort of shot the middle, but we're fine. No worse for the wear, and the rest being highway driving, we shouldn't be uh, surprised like that anymore. Right, let's go ahead and get on over here and continue our journey. If you caught the first episode, uh, thank you for tuning in. It means a lot for sure. Um, it's always good to be back in American Truck Sim. It's always relaxing and always cool to see new sights, as we will here in a minute as we skirt the northern edge of Oregon. A couple good comments from a battle buddy of mine uh, who was stationed in Fort Lewis with me and is from Washington State originally, uh, so he knows a lot about the area and he actually did a convoy in a military vehicle, very similar to the drive that we just did except he would continue on uh, to Fort Lewis once he gets through Portland, but he was able to identify some of the landmarks on the side of the road, which is really cool and really cool for SCS and the developers that someone from the area can say, oh, I know exactly what that is. And that's always the best part about this series is for, uh, if, if this is your state, you know, you can take one look at it and know exactly where you are, even though it's a video game and pretty cool stuff. So we should be leaving Portland soon. Now I imagine the being a big city and a pretty progressive city that the rail lines in Portland would be pretty popular. I know in Japan taking rail was like the best way to go and I imagine when you're in a big city like Portland that's pretty much what you need to do and there goes the train right there. <laughs> Speak of the devil. It looks like we're actually exiting up here now, we do want to go to Seattle, eventually. I mean, going to Seattle would be cool. It is indeed an exit that we're gonna be taking in 50 miles an hour. Let's go ahead and slow down our cruise control. We see downtown Portland in front of us there. Well, we saw a bridge there. But a pretty cool uh, interchange system here. We can see a bunch of big bridges and there is another arena passing over a rail yard. And that's one thing um, that I noticed in cities, at least flying over them, is the industrial areas are sort of near the airport. And that's where we dropped off in the last episode was the uh, Portland International Cargo Depot. And here we go, taking the west to Astoria. 
So this is I-5 North that would take us to Seattle. So this is starting to look uh, a little bit familiar to me, but maybe one day Seattle will be in the game, hopefully in the near future. I could sort of see SCS sticking to states around the base game content because they want to uh, make the game as accessible as they possibly can to everyone. And you don't want to do that by closing off you know, a state. So say they did Washington State next and we are losing some revs here. Let's drop a few gears and get this uh, engine back going. <clears throat> but one thing that you don't want to do is sort of alienate your, uh, your buyers because if, if they did Washington State next, then obviously you would need Oregon to, you know, pick up the slack. Yeah, now this bridge looks familiar, and I imagine, whoa, that's cool. Overlooking the Habe. If we were over in Boston, that would be the Habe. And downtown Portland to our left. This is really cool stuff indeed. Don't slow down there, blue truck. I'm sightseeing. Lisa in there grinding gears as she has been since the birth of the channel, really. When I uh, made a vow to go, well, not full-time because that implies that I get paid to do this and it's my job, but whenever I decided to, you know, have a series and a YouTube channel that I was going to maintain regularly, my first uh, episode was LA to Bakersfield, I believe was my first. Excuse me, good sir, I'm coming on over. And we are speeding like a mug, but downhill. Glad no Ossifer was around. Oh, 45 and a stoplight. Oh, the freeway ends, so we are starting to get into the, the residential areas here. Luckily, we caught a green light. Very cool. 45 through here, America's finest. Global Mills. Oh, and a scrapyard. Kind of reminds me of Fallout. It's got sort of a Fallout vibe with all the uh, destroyed cars there waiting for, for scrapping. But yeah, it looks like now we're starting to get into the forestry area. I know towards the middle of the state, uh, just off of I-5 is heavy logging. But I imagine up here would be nice for logging as well. Very scenic, very picturesque. Got a cabin in the woods or a warehouse in the middle of nowhere. That's not creepy at all. But very cool. I hope your week is going well. Thank you again for tuning in to American Truck Sim for this little leg of the journey. Uh, hopefully the next episode will be a little bit longer. Oh yeah, there's, there's some de deforestation up there. But as I said, I haven't had a lot of time to record anything really. Um, some behind the scenes of what I do on YouTube is I usually record two weeks in advance everything. So I'll sit down one day that I can record and I just put out or record episode after episode after episode and get a nice buffer. So if the situation arises like here recently, hello Longview, that I couldn't sit down and record a lot of video that I don't miss a day. And for the first time in about two years, I have no video files on my desktop ready to upload. So you're, this is the closest uh, you are seeing the video to when I actually recorded it. Oh, we got a side-by-side -side over here. Oh, and of course you would move over. You know what? I'm not moving over. We're going to pass up that side-by-side. -side. There is no way in Oregon's green forest that this side-by-side -side can run 55. If you do, you are nuts, good sir or madam. Tell you what, those things should not be allowed on the highway. Welcome to Oregon. I thought we were in Oregon, but eh, no worse for the wear. I'll take a welcome to any, any time here. And we are indeed on the west to Astoria. Looks like the lane is merging up here. We might be slowed down a bit. Passing by a Tesla dealer here and an intersection. Hopefully no one's, yeah, no one's turning left. Deep, deep, deep route, deep groat. I have no idea what that even said. 
Oh, looks like Mickey's Kingdom over here. Does uh, does Astoria have a a steeple like that? I wonder. Indeed, welcome to Astoria. We are here passing by the Tesla dealer that is the third city in the Oregon DLC that we found. Drive safely because, you know, road construction and all that good stuff. Got a boat sitting there. I imagine that the river going to the Pacific Ocean would provide a lot of boat traffic through here. What do we have here? The Columbia River Maritime Museum. Very cool. We can't pull in and sightsee. Yeah, they, they blocked that off. No truckers allowed. We're not, they're not going to be nice like those Portland guys were just letting us into their airport backwards, but what can you do? Yeah, I like this. It's got like a, a grid system layout, and that's one thing that was sort of missing uh, from the other cities. YOLO! Was sort of the grid feel. That you weren't in a city because, you know, there was no grid. You were just sort of going down major highways and, and branching off, so the feeling of a town having a grid system is really, really cool. I like it indeed. Well, what do you know? The side-by-side, -side, driven by the Sir. Let's go, boy. What you got? How many horses? You're going to need both horsepowers if... It's probably battery-operated. Yeah, we'll, we'll just say that. Battery-powered cars, massive torque. Because you get 100% of your torque instantly rather than a, uh, a power curve. So we'll be coming up to our drop-off here, but a very nice town, Astoria. Regular old gas station here, got some, some Main Street feel. This kind of feels like my hometown, where I actually live, is sort of like some shops on a street that provide no parking, if that makes any sense, you know. They want you to come to their business, but where are you gonna park? Eh, we haven't got a clue. And that almost looks like a dealership sign. That diner sign right there, I almost expect to see like Chevy. And then in that blue and white, it would say like the dealer's name. Oh, pretty cool uh, statue over there. Wonder if that's George Washington. It's times like this, so I wish we could just like hop out of the truck, you know, and just, uh, just take a gander. I mean, these cities are awesome. I think SCS is doing a bang-up job in the feeling of these cities here. So we're not making a right turn here. Highway 30 is ending, and we'll be making a right turn at this intersection, actually. At the FedEx dealer? Oh, just rest. Oh, the Astoria Port. So we will be right on the ocean. Maybe a nice picturesque view. Big trailer coming through. Got a rail yard here. We'll turn on our four ways. You should be expecting us, dear sir. And it looks like our drop off is right back there. So we'll have to work our way through the port here. Um, beep beep. Is that, did we miss our turn? Yeah, we missed our turn. All right, so a little bit of excitement in this episode. Let's go ahead and reverse up as straight as we possibly can here. Looks like the truck is starting to list. I tell you, going into that Portland airport, it had me spoiled. I was thinking, oh, awesome. I get to go through another gate, but no. But my hazards are on, and I don't think anyone is going to be coming this way if I had to make a guess. There we go. And we got a backer up right in there, which is going to be interesting indeed. Here we go. Did we make it? Yeah, we made it. I know where my corners are. All right, we'll pull it straight through the yard here. And I wonder if we can spin it here and get a near side reverse. We'll give her a try. The truck wheelbase is pretty, pretty long. I think we could do it. And that way we don't run into any issues like we had at the Portland cargo loading area for sure. Oh, and the gate closed behind us. They're like, nope, good luck. <laughs> You're not getting out of here anytime soon. All right. 
We're kind of set. I mean, it's not bad. Let's straighten her out as much as we can here. It's going to be a little cheeky reverse. Our angle is going to be a little bit funny. We'll see if we can get as close as we can to that trailer and then cut it. Like so. Unfortunately, that may be too shallow. And we may end up hitting the trailer next to it. I mean, it is pivoting. Yeah, I don't like it. Don't like it. Let's straighten out a bit. And then really twerk it. Twerk it Miley Cyrus style. We can, We got this. There we go. Now let's follow it. Is that going to be close enough for government work or do we need a pull up? I think we need a Pampers pull up here. No, they're going to take it, but I'm not happy with it. We'll go ahead and pull up a little bit more straight here. And then we'll be able to nestle the trailer right on in there. Like a G-Love. Something like that. Right there. Well, we would be up to the dock. It's just a little pull up here and there we go. Let's drop the trailer. Decoupling and see what we got here. 119 miles, very, very quick. 17 gallons of fuel, that is not bad, ladies and gentlemen. So, again, I apologize for this quick episode. I wanted to get it out to you. And it's a town that we haven't seen before, but what, what we can do is take a look and see what kind of freight comes out of Astoria. And it looks like we've got Salem, which is where we've been before. Pendleton would run the northern coast. And it is log, so... You know, not bad. Might be a pretty cool journey that will take us through uh, the Dalles and Pendleton. You know, there was a Camp Pendleton. I wonder if that, that's named after the same guy. Maybe sort of like a Lewis and Clark Explorer type person. So that might be where we end up going. Bend is a little bit longer through here. Once we pass through Salem, we get to Bend. We have Ontario, which is a pretty big journey. I don't think I'll do that one in one episode. I'll try to get something out of Pendleton to go down this winding, lonesome road. And then Eureka, it would take us back to California, but we would drive the 101 down by Newport and Coos Bay. So we do have some options and it's just gonna be what I feel like, but that is going to do it for me and this episode of American Truck Simulator, ladies and gentlemen, my truck is running away with me. Neutral and parking brake, if you please. But that's going to do it for me. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you for hopefully a longer American Truck Simulator video on Monday. Take care.